GuitarLessons.com, the number one name in guitar lessons online. Welcome to GuitarLessons.com. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about some of the more common chord voicings that you find in contemporary phrase music. So let's just jump right in and start learning these voicings. Take your index finger and put it on the seventh fret of your A string. Your third finger should come grab the ninth fret of the D string. And your pinky should grab the ninth fret of the G string. It's kind of like just a regular power chord shape, only you're going to have all the other strings that you're not fretting open, and you're going to play all six strings. So it should sound something like this. This is a really cool shape because you can move it around a lot of different places and get a lot of different cool sounding stuff with it. So for instance, if I was on the key of E, that's my one chord, my E. If I wanted to go to a five chord, you would slide this shape all the way down to where your index finger is on the second fret. That would be your five chord, your B. If you wanted to go up to the six, all you'd have to do was slide this entire shape up two frets, and that would be like your C sharp minor shape. And then finally, if you want to go to your four chord, you can slide back down from this shape, just slide everything down to where your third and fourth finger are just on the second fret of your D and G string. So that's one common chord shape that you're going to see over and over again in praise music. The next shape we're going to learn is probably, probably pretty common for you guys. You may know it, you may not. If you know a regular G chord, we're going to make this shape with these two fingers instead. Our index finger will come on our A string on our second fret. And our second finger will come on our third fret of our low E string. Now we can put our high G on our E string with our pinky, but we're going to add a note as well. We're going to take our ring finger and put it on the third fret of our B string. That gives us an extra D in the chord, so we're just basically putting another fifth in there instead of having that third of the chord a B. Here's the traditional A. And here's like the praise and worship be kind of sounding way. Almost always when you're playing a G chord, an open G chord anyways, in this kind of music, you're going to be using that one. Another voicing for if you're in the key of G, you want to go to the four chord, you want to go to a C instead of playing a traditional C like this. You would take that G we just made just move your index finger and your middle finger over a string set. So your middle finger would be on the third fret of your A string and your index finger would grab the second fret of your D string. So those are two common open chords that you're going to hear a lot in this style of music. So the next shape we're going to learn is basically based off of a D bar chord shape. So take your index finger, put it on the fifth fret of your D string. Third finger is going to grab the G string on the seventh fret. And finally your pinky is going to grab the eighth fret on your B string. And just play those three notes. Now when you play those three notes, be really careful not to hit any of the other strings that you're not fretting. If you see my index finger is kind of muting my A string right here, it's bending over just a little bit just to mute it. And on my high E string, my pinky is bending over just a little bit, not pushing the string down, but just muting it so you can't really hear it. So if that's your one chord in the key of G, you want to go to a four chord. That's going to be a common shape that we, the next common shape that we're going to learn. Basically, it's a G, but we're just playing the top four notes. So let me show you the fingering for it, and that can be a four chord that you could use. 
So take a bar over the top four strings on the fifth fret, make a bar, and then come up with your pinky on the eighth fret and grab just the top two strings. And you can play all four of those strings. So go to your first shape that we learned. And switch to the second one. And finally for the five chord on the common shape that we would go to from here, we'd be back to the first shape. And then just lower your pinky one fret. And to finish it off, go back to the one chord. Same shape we started with. So for instance, if I'm playing a one, four, five progression in the key of G with these shapes, it'll sound like this. I'll play the whole thing through for you. And when you're playing electric guitar with some of these voicings, the idea is to keep it from getting muddy. That's why on that little progression I just showed you with those shapes, we're really only playing the top three or four strings. So take all these chords that you learned in this lesson and start applying them to church songs that you're learning for gigs or whatever.